The floating floor system can be used in either retrofit or new build installations. It comprises of the 50mm high density polystyrene floating floor panel, either 15 or 18mm pipe and the single heat spreader plate. Before laying the floating floor system, always make sure that the floor is clear of dirt and debris and then simply lay the floating floor panels into the first corner of the room. Continue laying the floating floor panels, making sure that the grooves are in line. You'll use either 15mm pipe in residential premises or 18mm pipe system for commercial applications. Both these pipe systems use the same floating floor panel. When all the floating floor panels have been laid, the single heat spreader plates are laid into the grooves. To avoid the need to cut, these can be simply overlapped and clipped together. Remember, when you're laying the heat spreader plates, you'll need to leave these plates slightly back to allow the curvature of the pipe around the groove, around this bend here. What you'll also need to remember to do is leave a route out for the return pipe and therefore those heat spreader plates are going to be laid at 90 degrees to the other plates that are laid in the floor, like these. When we start laying the pipe, remember to leave enough pipe for future connection to the manifold. Don't worry about where this pipe's going and simply lay it in the groove. We're going to lay this pipe at 300mm pipe centres in a meander pattern following the pattern we've already laid out with the heat spreader plates and simply working back from this position. All you need to do to complete the job is to cover the floating floor system in an 18mm chipboard sheet. That's simply glued on edges and remember to leave a small gap around the edges for expansion and then the floating floor heating system is completed.